supposed to happen. All this for a little super juice. Oh well, very eagerly. I was minding my business, and then Nanny Fortuna came, and I accidentally spilled some super juice on her. That's it. Right? And then she arrested me and brought me to the Queen. And then I maybe spilled some juice on her. <laughs> Just a little. And then I tried to clean it up and kind of maybe spilled some more juice on her black dice. And down her dress. That was two lifetime sentences extra right there. Mm, pockets, mostly. Cheeks, too. Built into hidden reservoirs in me top, too. Something I wrung out of my hair. I'm a juicy boy. I'm not going to apologize for that. Anyway, that's my story. Remember me? My only regret is that I ceaselessly spilled so much super juice on authoritarian state figures. Even's narrator was so close, she just had to keep looking. Some part of Even knew her narrator was close. It was a feeling that went beyond words. Even and her narrator were almost reunited. She was so close. She was so dramatically close. Hello, Even. Do you remember me? For I remember you. And yet, you're the one who approached me. You're probably wondering why I'm here and not out there, picking my teeth with the bones of the disobedient. I suppose it makes no difference to tell you. The Queen hired me all those years ago to kill that meddlesome King of Freedom and to start their war. Oh, I was paid, but I would have done it for free. The Queen wanted to ensure his children would tear each other apart in the years and decades to come. And they did. I gave the Queen her endless war. I did brilliant work. Oh, but she played even me, you see. She promised me the people would fear the Shadow Man beyond reason. But they didn't. My rule was kept secret. And instead, they grew to fear war, their own deaths. And when I finally had enough, when I finally threatened, to reveal the truth to everyone. Well, here I am. Oh, I don't think I will. Don't you know that a good story never dies, little one? And every story needs a villain. I'll be out of here one day. To live nastily ever after. Alright, that's a main quest. Uh oh. Never mind. Ah, there you are, my friend. Thank you for the rescue. No. I can get back to my job of narrating. <clears throat> the narrator said, narratively. Who are you? I mean, weird. Yeah, it's uh, you. There you are. Whoa, 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 wait. You can hear me? This is unprecedented. But that doesn't mean it's bad. 
Took the words right out of my mouth, little one. It was hard being alone. I felt like half a person, if that makes sense. <laughs> it would be strange if you didn't. I am your narrator, after all. Oh, but it is nice to know when one's work is appreciated. But you can hear me now, and we should make the most of that while we can. One never knows how long it will be until the old authorities reassert themselves. We've got a quest to finish, my friend, and I stand ready to describe it if you stand ready to live it. Well, I'm afraid I can't, even. I'm a storyteller, not an oracle. <laughs> you and Icy live your life. I describe it during moments chosen for dramatic effect, and together we'll make the best story we can, yeah? Well, what about it? Is there such a thing as free will? Are our decisions just the random firings of neurons in our brains? Do we even have time for such a philosophical discussion right now? All I can answer is that last question. No, we don't. We have a quest to finish. Now then, where were we? <clears throat> ah, yes. A girl, her dice, and her narrator were reunited at last. Behind them, the wreckage of all that had stood in their way. Ahead of them, the queen and her minions. Even squared her shoulders and strode forward toward her destiny. Oh, I thank you. Unicorn, okay? I'm just a talking horse who told her off. But that's still incredibly magical and special. You've got to help me. This used to be a beautiful palace, a place of learning, of magic, of... Oh, yes, Dicey. It was also a place of dice. Halls that once echoed with the laughter of children were now still, empty and desolate. <laughs> oh, right. Except for Even and her amazing friend Dicey, who was... Uh, great, did you say? Who was, and I quote, great and awesome to the max.
bets are off. Are off when you've got a new card from old Manny Dex. I just sort of loop me around, I think. Might be the final boss with how much this random money they gave me there. Here, mate, let's trade cards. Sometimes I feel like it's my sole purpose in life. <laughs> Ah, so close.
Ow. Okay. Uh. Away. That's not good. We've been in for a while, you think. Crystals had appeared in the same age as the castle's fall, but they were not the cause of this destruction, merely an effect of it. There was something much darker here. Way to creep us out, Mr. Narrator. of the castle were quiet, almost serene, but within them still dwelled a great power. Here goes nothing, Dicey. <laughs> Point taken. Here goes everything. This place. It is stunning, and it's been lived in recently. We're not alone here, Dicey. Here, maybe. Nope. So I can go to the basement. I can go up. I should have said it's a lock. We're gonna have to go to the basement.
Whoa, she has a fleet of these things. That's concerning. Well, I was hoping it was just going to be a quick boss fight now, but seeing as this is going to drag on for a little bit longer, we'll probably call it there. And hopefully the next time will be the conclusion. Until next time, everyone.